Some say that with the advent of T20 cricket, test cricket is dying. But within a span of just one week, we have seen two very gripping test matches. First, where India beat Australia at the Gabba to clinch the test series. And second, the match which we are going to talk about today, England coming from behind to beat Sri Lanka by six wickets in the second test at Gaul. Welcome to the first episode of my classroom series, You've Got Spotted. Our spot for today is cricket and we are going to cover the riveting story of the England vs Sri Lanka second test. The match was played at the Gaul International Stadium, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, after winning the toss, elected to bat first. And that's a pretty common choice in the subcontinent because it gets very difficult to bat in the fourth innings on spinning tracks. Now, Sri Lanka, unlike the first test, managed to score a good total in the first innings. Riding on Angela Matthews' century and 50s by captain Dinesh Chandimal, Niroshan Dikwela and Dilruan Pereira, Sri Lanka posted a challenging 381 on the board. It was good to see a senior like Matthews stepping up and getting amongst the runs. From England's side, it was surprising to see all the 10 wickets being picked up by the Pacers on a track considered very good for spin. Leading from the front was the ever-reliable Jimmy Anderson who took a 6-wicket haul. He entered the record books by becoming the first Englishman to record 35 wicket hauls in Test cricket. Wow! To partner Jimmy, Mark Wood got 3 wickets and Sam Curran got 1. England in reply fought their way to 344, giving Sri Lanka a slender 37 run lead. Now I say fought their way because it was skipper Joe Root, the lone warrior, scoring 186, getting some support from Josh Butler's half-century. Root, for the first time in his career, recorded successive 150-plus scores, backing up his double-century from the first test. Sri Lanka's left-arm spinner Lasit Embaldaniye was the chief destructor, recording his career-best figures of 7 for 137. Dilruvan Parera and Ramesh Mendes got one wicket each. Now, Sri Lanka getting a lead in the first innings was not expected by many, especially after a dismal outing in the first test. But such has been the week, and this lead, ga this lead gave the Lankan fans something to cheer about and a hope for victory after a long, long time. But come it the second innings and come it the English spinners to take charge. After going wicketless in the first innings, the spinners wrecked havoc in the second innings. Jack Leach with his left arm spin and Dom Bess with his right arm off spinners spun their web on the turning track and the Lankan batting collapsed for 126. The wickets tumbled as fast as Spider-Man shoots his webs. <laughs> the only resistance came lower down the order by none other than Lasse Embaldanier once again, who got 40 runs. Leach and Bess got four wickets each and Root chipped in with two wickets to finish the innings. Now, if you noticed, for England, all the ten wickets were taken by the Pacers in the first innings and all the ten wickets were taken by spinners in the second. This has happened for the first time in the history of Test cricket. As crazy as it sounds, such were the scenes. England was set a target of 164 runs. Such a target could be tricky sometimes on spinning wickets, especially during the 4th and the 5th day. At a point, the battle was evened out after Joe Root was dismissed and England were reduced to 89 for 4, needing another 75 runs to win. The match was moving like a tennis ball in play, sometimes in one squad and sometimes in the other. But a resilient Dom Sibley 50 and a one-day-ish knock of 46 by Joss Butler sealed the deal for England and it was yet another disappointment for Sri Lanka. England won the match by six wickets. Joe Root was deservedly named the man of the match and the man of the series. For the Sri Lankan fans, uh, this is a phase of cricket which they would like to forget. Not much right is happening in the Sri Lankan cricket but there are still positives to be taken from this match for them. 
One Lasit recently announced his retirement from all forms of cricket. Lasit Malinga. And another Lasit rose to the occasion and was the silver lining of the cloud from this test match. And that's Lasit Embaldanie. He bagged 10 wickets in the match and also top scored in the second innings with 40 runs. Another positive was the century from Angela Matthews. Sri Lanka would be glad to have their experienced player back in form. Sri Lanka got a lead in the first innings, would be looking forward to progress from a lead to a victory in their upcoming matches. Whereas the high-flying England unit would be marching towards the subcontinent giants India, who themselves are upbeat after a series win on Australia. With some promising sporting action in the coming days, this is me Siddharth Jalan signing off.